In 2020, we've spent more time in our houses than we ever thought possible. And if, like me, you're pretty fed up of looking at the same decor, time to do something about that. Welcome to Moggy Boxcraft. I'm Debra, and today I am painting my bathroom. I'm going to attempt a geometric, is that how we pronounce it? Geometric design on my bathroom using black and gold. For this project, what are you gonna need? Let me show you. So the first thing you're gonna need, and always essential, masking tape. So I've got this frog tape, it's for delicate surfaces, because I really don't want to pull up the paint after I spent ages painting it. And we've got our blue scotch multi-surface tape, and that's going to be going around all the edges of things, so I don't get paint everywhere. <laughs> we can hope. The yellow is gonna be for taping off where I want the gold areas, but we'll get into that a little bit later. You're also going to need a few painting essentials. A screwdriver. A flathead screwdriver to open your paint cans, some paint brushes, a roller. Hopefully yours is a little bit cleaner than mine, as I'm plenty of really dark colours, this shouldn't be a problem. And a paint tray. It's dirty, I know that, but it's dry so it should be fine. For the skirting boards and doors, I'm just planning on painting them white. So I'll be using Dulux once. Obviously this paint has been used a lot already, in pure brilliant white. This will be used as my undercoat. And then for my gloss white, I'll be using this. Dulux Once Gloss. <laughs> also already used, and that's also in the colour Pure Brilliant White. This is going to be my finishing colour for the skirting boards and doors. For the walls, I plan to be using Good Home Walls and Ceilings Coloured Paint. It does say it's wipeable in this grey shade, Princeton. This is going to be my wall undercoat colour, and it's a matte paint. For my finishing wall coat, I'm going to use this. So it's good home. I don't know if this is specifically for bathrooms or kitchens, but it said wipeable on it, so I thought that would be a good thing. So this will be my top coat wall colour in the colour Liberty. The most exciting part, the colour I'm using for the gold, Arden Bright. It says it's for railings and garden furniture and house numbers, but I see no reason why I can't use this on my bathroom walls. I'll be using this for the gold stripes or for the geometric pattern. It's in the colour antique gold. It's a beautiful, beautiful finish this paint. I love this. I've used this loads actually already. And although this is a really small pot and you think, well, that's going to get used up really quickly. Oh no, it's great. It goes really far. I've used it on loads of projects and I've still got loads in the tin. Highly recommend this. So let's go see what we're working with. So this is what my bathroom looks like at the moment. I really like the flooring and the wooden cabinets. So I think the black and gold will tie in here really, really nicely. So that door's gonna get painted. Hi bud, are you gonna help me paint? No. The first thing I'm gonna do is tape everything up using blue masking tape. And hopefully that'll mean I don't get paint everywhere. This is one of the steps I hate the most about painting. I usually skip this step, but just for you guys, I am going to do this. Hopefully it'll prevent us having to do a whole lot of cleaning up later and to alleviate any mess that I might make with the paint. Now we've done that, let's move on to paint. I've not got a whole lot of white paint left but it should be enough for the undercoat for the doors and the skirting boards. Always give your paint a really good stir before you use it. And all these marks on the door are gonna be super satisfying to paint over. Can't wait for this to be nice and clean and white looking again. So the first coat of white is now on the door and skirting boards. It's now time to move, oh my God, this is heavy, please don't let me drop this. It's now time to move on to the walls. We're gonna start with this dark grey colour. I've given my pot a really good stir. I've decanted some of the paint into here. I'm gonna crack on, doing the cutting in, and then get on with some roller in. I finished doing the first coat. I'm gonna leave this to dry, clean out my brushes, and then we'll move on to our coat of black paint. It's currently 10 past midnight. The grey undercoat has been drying for about four hours now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a coat of this black paint in Liberty. It's a matte black paint. Can't believe I'm doing this so late at night, but here we are, living our best lives. After 
doing the grey undercoat. I've ended up doing two coats of black paint on the walls. And as you'll see, I've started taping ready for the gold. I've pretty much randomly popped my lines just wherever the heck I wanted. I've been using this frog tape to mark out where all the gold lines are going to go. I've ended up using pretty much two rolls of this stuff. It says it's over 40 metres. So there's a lot of tape on the walls right now. I've picked this particular tape because it's got a really low adhesion stick to it. <laughs> for lack of a better description. So I was a little bit concerned that after I painted the gold on that when I pulled the tape up, it would pull the black paint with it. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that doesn't happen. There is going to be gaps between the lines connecting. Don't worry about that. I've got two different types of paintbrushes. Got a chunkier brush and touch up any areas with a tiny little brush. Gives us a really good shake. We're going to go in now with Arden Bright antique gold. I don't want gold lines all over my bathroom. I've done it in a slightly diagonal type shape over the walls. They're artistically placed on the walls. Probably should put some gloves on. Oh yeah, I definitely should, but I'm not going to. Where's the fun in that? Hey, that's what the paint looks like. Before I paint each section, I am just going to run my fingers over the masking tape and make sure it's smooth down the edges. So hopefully we don't end up with lots of Overrun. That's the plan anyway. Wow. Well, yeah, I think I'm going to, have to do a few touch ups for this. Oh, that's pretty good. That's kind of what I wanted, I think. I think I've been busy painting these gold stripes for about six hours now. When I took off the mask and tape, where the lines didn't quite meet in these areas, I've taken a tiny little paintbrush and with a little bit more gold paint, just very carefully painted them on and matched them up. They're not perfect, but I'm happy with it. I've then gone back and done a wee bit of touch-ups on the black paint where it's smudged, and I've gone over everything with a second coat of gold paint. Hopefully just make it a little bit more uniform. So I'm going to go ahead, give this bathroom another clean, put all my accessories in and show you the finished results. makeover is complete. I'm actually really happy how this turned out. If I was doing this again, I think it would have been easier to paint the walls, paint the whole walls the colour that I wanted the stripes to be, or the lines, or the crisscross lines. Pop masking tape over those and then paint it the background colour. Unfortunately with gold paint, it's quite a small tin and I didn't really want to paint my entire room that colour. Alternatively, I might have done the matte black paint first and then painted gold stripes with a paintbrush where I thought I want them to be, let that dry and then covered that stripes with a masking tape and then covered another coat with a black and then peeled off the masking tape to reveal the gold paint underneath. If I was doing this again, that's always an option, but I probably won't be. This bathroom ain't getting redone for a good long time now. <laughs> I also found some beautiful little accessories, all of which I will pop in the description box below. Oh, I'm still covered in paint. Oh, I've got to scrub that off. First up, these cute pom-pom towels. How cute are they? Although there's only pom-poms on one side, this side. I got a pack of two of these for 9 99 My bath mat set is this super soft, white, fluffy stuff. Oh, it's so soft, honestly. It's got this anti-slip rubber matting on the bottom, but this stuff is just so soft. I've got two of these, because obviously you need to wash one and put one straight down. It was 21 98 Now, for two sets, I think that was really rather good. I also got these. It comes with a set of two and it's got the most beautiful little purple and black and white and green leaf design on it. So there's little ceramic pots. I've put my toothbrushes in one and I might put a little plant pot in the other. 
For the two of these, they were 10.95, and they're so cute. And the rest of the decor in the bathroom, it's just stuff I had lying around the house, so I thought I'd put it to good use. I also got a few wee plants. I have picked plants that are for cool rooms and like humidity. Very important when it comes to plants in a bathroom, because if not, they're going to die or not be happy with the humidity. So I've got a trailing ivy that likes to be in the shade. I have popped this one in a hanging plant, so I hope to hang this at some point in the bathroom, but I've just not managed to get round to putting up a hook yet. Well, Andy's not managed to get round to, put up a hook, get round to putting up a hook yet, but he will. We've got a beautiful piece lily. Likes to be in a cool room, I think. Yes, likes to be in a cool room, but likes to be in a light sunny spot. I've also got a Boston ferron. Also, likes a cool room, but likes to be in a little bit of sun. Again, I've popped this one in a hanger basket or ceramic pot. So hopefully we'll get this one hung up too at some point. This one I don't know how to pronounce. Can you see that there? Also likes a cool room. And lastly, we've got our parlour palm. Loves a shady room. Most of these plants would be pretty happy in the bathroom, I hope. <laughs> and most of them like to be misted. So I've got a cute little water sprayer that I keep in here so I can mist them and keep them happy. I will leave links to anything I've used in this video in the description box below so you can find all the details there. If you've enjoyed this bathroom makeover and seen how I painted my gold geometric stripes on the walls, like this video, leave a comment, share and subscribe. Of course, subscribing is optional, but it is very much appreciated. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Just gone in with a tiny brush free handly. Free handly.